young people from all over the globe are joining up to save American craft whiskey. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. They're doing their part. Are you? Join my whiskey den in the fight to save American craft whiskey. Service guarantees survival. Allocation season. That time of year when all the taters come out to harass liquor store employees about hard-to-get whiskeys. We break net now to bring you this live discussion. Them to also, at one on one hand, complain. We don't like it either. We don't like the secretary. We don't like right. this. And we don't. You know what? It takes one freaking person. And yes, yeah. distributors are just are the ones doling it out and say, well, you know, you can't have any of this allocated stuff unless you buy. 500 cases of White Claw and 30 of Fireball and this other crap, and then we're going to give you three bottles, and then these guys go crazy about it, about it, and this stupid green label Weller, people are paying 50 bucks and thinking they're getting a deal. It's right. ridiculous. It, it takes somebody as large as Sazerac for Buffalo Trace to say, hey, guess what? We're done. I'm tired of dealing with the hype, tired of dealing with the price, prices being jacked up, even in the stores. Uh, and fact is, after all the things we have explored and done just in this year with craft whiskey, I have found so many craft distillers that, quite honestly, uh, their whiskey is so much better, their bourbon is so much better than what I'm yeah. experiencing from Buffalo Trace, even on the E.H. Taylor level, that uh, why go for it? Why pay the price? Why pursue it? Uh, there's just better stuff out there. And yeah. I'd rather support the, you know, the craft guys that are working their asses off and doing some amazing things uh, than these big guys who, you know, they're going to take a hurt with the whole COVID situation, but they're going to make it. The craft guys, right. maybe not. Let's get into it. One, two, three. Hi, I'm Patrick, and welcome to my Whiskey Dad, your favorite public access whiskey review show where craft whiskey is king. And remember, when you're taking pictures out there of craft whiskey, add that hashtag, because everyone should know out there what you're drinking is outstanding. So, when I first started this show, I focused on just stuff from the Midwest. Now that I've learned that there's so much more out there, I want to bring all of American craft whiskey to you. But I needed some help. Hi, I'm Ben. Welcome to my whiskey den. And why do we do craft whiskey? Because the heirloom grains, the amazing woods and staves, the experimentation that they do, and it's just darn sexy. That's why craft whiskey. Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome to my whiskey den. I need you to click on an evening with and check out our series. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And remember Don't that the Craft Modernization Act of what the yeah. hell? I wasn't done. Mike, well, they, they're clicking the button for bullshit laws. What What the hell's yeah. going on here? And we're talking about the Craft Modernization Act of 2017, which actually did help a lot of the distillers. But now, every year, they get their heads held over a barrel to renew this law that would cost them 400% increase in taxes. It is effing ridiculous. You have to stop HR 1175. Don't just stop it, pass it. Pass it for three years. Who in the hell would only pass this for one year? It makes absolutely no sense. Whoa, whoa. hey guys, do you, do you guys feel that? Told that fucker not to bring that up. <laughs> Gets him every time. That's right. So join us on yes. Monday nights for an evening with. 